Hey, how's everyone doing? This is Oz with Oz Mechanics, and on today's video, I got this 2008 GMC Sierra right behind me. So the issue with this GMC Sierra, customer was complaining that there's a brake light and a brake service light that comes on, and he wanted me to check out the brakes just to see if there's anything bad with them. But when I did a look over, they look pretty good. So how about in today's video, we try to see what the issue is and give this vehicle back to the customer. All right, we're inside the vehicle and I just want to show you which light he's talking about. So we kind of look right here, as you can see, uh, service breaks soon. And then the other light that he was having, I'm just going to turn the key off and turn it back on, was this little brake light right here. But he, what he was telling me is that on that one, the brake fluid would actually go low and he would fill it up. And he just didn't know where it was going to. It would just keep on going down. I did do a, a, a check real quick and I was just verifying because these do have drum brakes and they have a brake cylinder that normally goes bad and it leaks out through there. But like when I did my first look around, I didn't see no leakage right there. So that's something that we have to look into. So now let's look at our actual scan tool and let's see exactly what we have. So if we look at our scan tool right here, we are on the ABS side. So we can see we're on ABS side. Now I want to look at the codes. And we have a C0299 brake booster pressure sensor performance. All right. So that's showing that our brake booster uh, pressure sensor it wants to see a value and it's not getting there. So that's what we're having on that. And let's see our history codes and see what we get there. So these are what we had before, the C0299, and check this one out, low brake fluid indicated. So that's, a, that's the other thing that the customer was talking about. And we have a base brake, uh, brake sensor pressure boost vacuum sensor circuit. All right, so what I want to do now, see if we have any data to look at our pressure sensor. All right, brake booster vacuum sensor and our pressure sensor. So let's turn this on, let's see what we get. Let's see if we hit our brake pedal. All right, we got some difference right there. Hmm. Let's look at the code right now. And we have that C0299. And I want to see the service information on that one, see if we find anything that we can see what's going on right here. Because like I said, I had this off. But remember, these uh, brake boosters, they do, they're accumulators. So they do uh, actually hold pressure in there. But let's check this out. Let's see what we find out when we look at service information. All right, before we start doing the checking out the service information, what I have right here, we're going to take that off and we're going to hear some vacuum in there. And as you can see, we still have 66.5. So I just want to verify that everything's good. So we're going to release this. As you can hear, the vacuum's leaving. All right. Well, look at that. Now it dropped to zero. So it did hold enough pressure in there. So what's going on? Why is it throwing that code? Now let's check that out. So it did hold that pressure. And as you can see, it's to atmosphere now. And we got zero PSI. So that's actually reading good right now. So let's go look at the service information and see what we can find out on this. All right, so as you can see, we're on pro demand right now, and I did put the engine code C0299, and check this out. We have a TSB, awesome, and then we have different things right here with OEM testing. As soon as I put on the code and I see a TSB, I want to start looking at that, see what we have right here. So if we click right here, let's go into the brake control system, and check this out, service brake soon message and DTC code right here. So look at this. This is a 2008 model right here. So if we look at that, starting with the 2008 model year, there are symptom codes with the C0299. 
uh, C029900 may be electrical concern with the active brake booster solenoid or relative wiring diagnosis. And then the other one is a DTC C0299A5A. Uh, and that's something with a vacuum leak. All right. And if I'm not mistaken, what we have is going to be this one right here. We actually have the C029900. So are we looking at an actual wiring issue, sensor issue? What could it be? But the thing is, I've been reading, if we look at this, we see that pretty much over here, vacuum leak, vacuum leak, vacuum leak. It's showing that these have a pretty good issue with these vacuum leaks. And we see right here, C0299 vacuum leak how about we just go ahead and give that a shot i want to see if, if that's going to actually fix it up or see if we have any vacuum leaks because i've made a video before with a ford that had a vacuum leak and nissan's that have vacuum leaks on the brake boosters and they cause a lot of issues so how about we give that one a shot right there just to kind of knock it out and then we can go from there especially that this is a tsb right here so let's go to the vehicle. I'm going to hook up my actual smoke machine and then let's give it a shot and see what we find out there. All right, so we have our smoke machine right here and this is one from AU Tools. I bought this online, it was under 300 bucks. And the good thing about this compressor, you don't have to actually have uh, compressed air. This has its own compressor right here. So all we need to do is hook this up to our battery and then after that we can verify if we have a leak coming out through there. So let's hook it, hook this up to our battery. Now what we're gonna do, verify that we have smoke. And there you go. We have our smoke right there. And what I did, I took off our vacuum line right here. And we're gonna smoke this out and see what we get. So I'm just gonna kinda, let's move this to the side so it's not in our way. And now we just want to see if we get any smoke coming out from that brake booster. It's probably going to take a little while to build up. Oh, look at that right there. Check that out. So guess what? I think this TSB was actually right. So we have a leak. Looks like it's coming out from the backside. back here not sure but you can clearly see right there i don't know if you can see the smoke coming out from right here it is pouring out right now so is that gonna be what's causing the code because like i said the the actual sensor wants to see a certain amount and we're not getting that and i don't know what the values are right now but if we have a leak coming out from there it's not gonna it's not gonna get to that value so how about we go ahead and change this out and retest it because we can clearly see right here that we have a bad brake booster. Is it going to be this easy? We're going to check this out. Man, check out that right there. Look at that. That in there, that's brake fluid. Look at that. All right, so this is where our actual pressure sensor is at. And I don't want to take this off, but I'm pretty sure fluid is going to be going down there. So where our leak is coming from is probably going to be back here. And it's leaking straight into this brake booster. So I think we, uh, this is our issue right here. This is what basically caused both of our codes right there. It's going to be our low because I remember the customer would state that this would keep on going down. And I was thinking it was going to be probably the brake cylinders on the back. 
but the main issue is right here. So we're going to need a brand new master cylinder and a brand new brake booster. So let's go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and finish taking this off. And then after that, we're going to actually see how much fluid is inside. This is crazy. All right, we have our brake booster right here. And this is a trash can. And right here we have our brake pressure sensor. Now what I want to do, I don't want to take it off inside the truck because I didn't want it to get all dirty. Now we have something that we can throw it into. Let's go ahead, remove this. This. Oh, look, check that out. Look at that right there. <laughs> oh, God. All right, so this is our brake pressure sensor. And yeah, that is our where our low fluid was at and it shouldn't be like this this is this should only be vacuum inside so nothing else but we have brake fluid so we're gonna let that drain and the good thing is we have a brand new one with everything that we need right here so we're going to go ahead and put this on and a brand new master cylinder. And then we're going to go ahead and check out our data and see if they're the same and what's going on right here. But this is going to be our uh, ultimate fix on this. So let me put this on. And then after that, we're going to look at our data. All right, check that out. Look at this. This is a brand new brake master cylinder and a brake booster with our brand new sensors and all. So let's go inside the vehicle. I have my scan, uh, scan tool hooked up. I just want to look at the data pids. And after this... I think this is going to be it, man. This is going to be the total fix right here. Look how nice that looks. That right there is going to be a total fix. So let's go inside. Let's see what we have on our data pids. All right, so check this out. We are actually in our data pids. And just remember, uh, right now it's at zero because I haven't turned on the vehicle. So we haven't checked anything out. We, don't, we haven't built up vacuum. Remember, our brake booster is basically a little reservoir. So let's go ahead and turn this on. All right, here we go. So as you can see, it's basically the same PSI that we had before. I'm gonna hit the uh, the brake pedal. And when we touch it, we barely get any movement compared to how it was last time. But we can see our voltage right there. So there you go. I'm pretty sure this is going to be our fix. So if you do like this video, please put a big thumbs up. And don't forget to hit that little notification bell to get all brand new videos coming out from Oz Mechanics. Y'all take care. Y'all have a nice day.